first of all, let me praise and commend the efforts of your states and of your governments and of your parliaments and of your countries in support of Ukrainian territorial integrity and Ukrainian sovereignty and Ukrainian independence. We truly appreciate your contribution and uh, your strong stance against the Russian-led aggression. Uh, I would uh, deliver a strong message to your parliaments. First of all, thank you for the parliaments of EU member states for the ratification of AA and DCFTA and non-EU member states for your political, diplomatic and economic support of uh, Ukrainian economic reforms and of Ukrainian fight for our freedom and for our independence. Uh, we have an enormous agenda to discuss and uh, once again uh, we do believe that interparliamentary cooperation is of crucial importance. And uh, I strongly believe that uh, the way your parliaments uh, interlock it with our parliament is the best way how to deliver the best, I would say, practice uh, uh, of your countries to Ukraine and vice versa. Uh, for my country, it's of crucial importance to have both political and economic stability, and uh, political stability mainly lies in the parliament, among the coalition members and uh, among the coalition factions. Uh, so I will uh, kindly request you to have a separate meetings with all factions and all possible and even impossible MPs to convince Ukrainian uh, legislators and your make, lawmakers uh, to be in line with the very strong pace of reforms, uh, further pass legislation which is needed to all to meet all criteria for making Ukraine a prosperous and success, successful case story.